with CD Rays. Tell me, how long have you been doing improv? Um, on and off for about 20 years. I've been with CD Rays in previous times. Probably a total of about six, seven years. Is comedy, you do a lot of comedy or theater? I do, um, I've done more comedy than theater. Um, I've done a lot of stand-up comedy in the past. Um, primarily I do improvisational comedy. That's my, uh, this is my primary thing right now anyway. Where are you from originally? Wilmer, Minnesota. Hi, I'm Kendra Ryan. How long have you been doing improv? Um, about a year or so. I did the Christmas show here at Stevie Ray's in Chanhassen Dinner Theater and signed on to do the summer show as well. What is your background? Theater. Theater. I studied philosophy in college, about as useful as a theater degree. So I figured why not try something new. Um, but I do, I, I'm a working actor in Minneapolis. Brett Williams. How long have you been doing improv? I've been doing this for 10 years. What is your background? I have a theater background, actor of the year 1984, was at a high school, and uh, I'm also a tour guide at the Watershed Street Cave in St. Paul where I played John Dillinger on the Down in History Tour. Do you see the resemblance? Oh yes, yes. <laughs> you many characters. What are some of the characters? Uh, some of the characters I play on the, at the tours. I play John Dillinger. During the Winter Lights, I play J Jack Frost's little brother. His name is D. Frost. Get that one? Okay. And then <laughs> I play the Grim Reaper during Ghosts and Graves. And I also play, uh, we do a murder mystery called Gun Trouble, which I play Federal Agent Frank Lee Perfect. Frank Lee. <laughs> oh, that's Did you get that one? Good, good. Hi, Maggie and Gagbeer. How important is the audience to do what you're doing? Wow. The audience is everything. The audience, for me, almost can make or break a show, just depending on how interactive they are. I mean, if they are laughing, it just it builds us up and gives us so much more fuel and energy. Whereas if they're quiet, it's sometimes a little harder to work with and to feel like you're being funny and you're, you know, you're making them enjoy themselves if they're quiet. So <laughs> that's sometimes difficult when you're quiet. Matt Urkel. How long have you been doing improv? I have been doing it for five weeks. Oh, you're new at this? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I just started about five weeks ago. And how do you like it? It's a lot of fun. It's in incredibly intimidating, but when it goes off well, it's really fun. So, I like it. What is your background? Uh, I went to school for theater, so I try to do straight plays as much as I possibly can. Um, and then I did a show that was actually about improv in a way, and it kind of got me wondering what it was all about. So I started going a bunch, and then started taking classes, and then I saw that Stevie Ray's was auditioning, so I auditioned, and they let me be in the company. So I tried to do as much of it as I can. Michael Erickson, E-R-I-C-K-S-O-N. And you are the musical director here? Sure, yes. And also... The host. The host. Okay, and how long have you been doing uh, improv? Then, oh, uh, with CD Race for three years. Uh, I ran the San Diego Underground uh, a long time ago, about 15 years ago. And then worked for Nickelodeon, and then was out in New York, and then had a child, and ended up back here, which is where I grew up in Minneapolis, and decided improv would be something to get back into. So, joined Stevie Ray's three years ago. 